Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei on Monday intensified his rhetoric against Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, calling for a death sentence for the leader following an international criminal court arrest warrant. What they did in Gaza and Lebanon is not a victory. It is a war crime. They issued an arrest warrant for him, which is not enough. They should issue a death sentence for Netanyahu. Speaking in Tehran, Khamenei also condemned Israeli military actions in Gaza and Lebanon, labeling them as war crimes. The crimes of the Zionist regime, both in Lebanon and in Gaza and Palestine, will create the opposite of what they want. That is, it will strengthen and intensify the resistance. This is a general rule. It is inevitable. The ICC had issued arrest warrants last week for Netanyahu, former Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant and Hamas leader Mohammed Daif. The charges, focused on alleged war crimes in Gaza, included using starvation as a method of warfare and committing crimes against humanity, such as murder and persecution. Netanyahu dismissed the charges, describing them as anti-Semitic and accusing the ICC of undermining global justice. Khamenei also used the occasion to discuss Iran's nuclear ambitions, following an announcement from Tehran about deploying advanced centrifuges to enhance uranium enrichment. These remarks followed a resolution adopted by the International Atomic Energy Agency accusing Tehran of non-cooperation. In the uranium enrichment process, the difficult part is to enrich it up to 20%. It's very easy from there. While the enemy was busy deceiving us, our besieged guys, our besieged youth, our besieged scientists produced this difficult part by themselves. We didn't need them anymore. Khamenei's comments reflect the deepening divide between Iran and Western powers, exacerbated by the ICC's unprecedented move to hold Israeli leaders accountable for alleged wartime atrocities. While the ICC's actions mark a significant moment for international justice, they have further polarized regional alliances with implications for global diplomacy, 